Hello friends, we have started a new video series on the topic cell cycle. In my last three video, I discuss in detail about the three important phases of the interface that is G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. Okay, this is the cell cycle of typical eukaryotic cell which having two important phases and the phase from this point to this point include G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase and all these three phases come under single interface. Okay, while the next phase in which cell divide actual division take place uh, it is called as M phase. Okay, and now the M phase is again divided into two type or two sub phases karyokinesis and cytokinesis. The karyokinesis of the M phase uh, having four sub phases prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase while the cytokinesis is the actual division of the cytoplasm which occur by formation of cell furrow in animal cell and cell plate formation in plant cell. So actual division of the cell okay from parent to daughter cell occur during the M phase and M phase take place either by two different ways number one uh, by karyokinesis and by cytokinesis. In last three videos I discussed the different type of changes that occur in the cell when cell pass from G1 to S and from S to G2. Actually these three phases come under interphase and initially it was believed that this interphase is the resting phase because cell is not going to divide in these three phases and scientists were believed that cell actually take rest during these three phases. But later on it was discovered that uh, in these three phases cell remain highly metabolically active. Okay, Like in the G1 phase or the GAP1 phase or post mitotic and pre synthesis phase uh, cell perform different functions like transcription or uh, synthesis of RNA, translation or the protein synthesis then in the same phase cell produce large amount of ATP by the process of oxidative phosphorylation then the size of cell increased and cell also collect other requirements of the replication that means in the G1 phase cell prepare itself for the S phase and when cell enter from G1 to S actual replication of the DNA occur with the help of requirement collected by the cell during G1 phase and centrioles division also occur in the S phase in animal cell because we know that plant cell do not have centrioles and histone protein synthesis also take place during the S phase. Actually these are the positively charged protein which is needed for supercoiling of the newly synthesized DNA. After S phase cell enter into the G2 phase also called as gap 2 phase or post synthesis phase or pre mitotic phase. In this phase cell prepare itself for actual cell division that means cell prepare itself for M phase. In the G2 phase uh, duplication of the cell organ occur. All the organelle that eukaryotic cell have like mitochondria, chloroplast, Golgi complex get duplicated during the G2 phase. In the same phase tubulin synthesis occur. These are the protein which is necessary for synthesis of a spindle fiber. Okay, And in the same phase phosphorylation is also occur because during the M phase cell is going to need large amount of energy which is produced during the G2 phase. Now next phase after G2 is M phase. Okay, M either stand for mitosis or meiosis. Mitosis is a somatic cell division in which one cell divide into two daughter cell while in the meiosis germline cell division one cell divide into four daughter cell. Okay, we are going to talk about mitosis and meiosis in detail in my future videos. Okay, but in this video I am going to focus on another phase which come under the interphase okay which I have not shown here and the phase is G0 phase okay. Interphase mainly have three phases G1, S and G2 but sometime cell may enter into G0 phase. What is G0? G0 is the stage in which cell remain metabolically active but it uh, do not show G1, S, G2 activities that means uh, the reproduction or the growth of the cell get halted. Okay, That means cell do not show growth or reproduction but cell remain alive in the 
G0 phase. In this lecture, I am going to discuss in detail about the G0 phase, different uh, activities that cell perform during the G0 phase and the mechanism by which cell can come out from the G0 phase and enter into the interphase again. Okay, So, if you want to draw G0 in the interphase, the right position of the G0 is in the G1 phase. Okay, When any newly produced daughter cell enter into the G1 phase, okay, now from G1 phase cell have to enter in the S phase, but sometime if the genetic makeup of the cell is uh, designed like that, now the cell do not uh, need to be divided any further more or any more. In that case, now newly synthesized daughter cell in the G1 phase show a reaction in which cell come out of the G1 phase okay, and enter into the G0 phase. Okay. Now, in this phase, cell will going to remain metabolically active, but its reproduction is stopped. Okay. Why cell enter from G1 to G0 instead of going into S phase? There are many reasons. Number one is a genetic makeup of the cell. Number two, environmental conditions. Sometime uh, cell may uh, present in the environment which do not have sufficient nutrients okay or the environment may be unfavorable to the cell in that case instead of going from g1 into s cell enter into g0 phase okay that means the right position of the g0 phase is in between g1 phase okay why cell do not directly enter from m phase into the g0 phase because when cell divide in the m phase the newly synthesized daughter cell uh, have very low, less size or actually they are small they are not matured cell so before entering into the g0 phase this daughter cell should get mature okay this happened during the g1 phase and now after the maturation now this cell is ready to enter into the g0 phase in the g0 phase after entry cell may perform different functions like they become permanent cell some example of the human stem cell or human neuron cell uh, is there which directly enter into the G0 phase and then perform specific function throughout the life. Okay, So this entry of the cell from G1 to G0 is called differentiation. Now this process, the first process okay, is called differentiation. But sometime in the G0 phase cell feel that or the organism's body need that cell to multiply. Okay, That means the cell should now enter from G0 to G1 again. Okay, And now sometimes this metabolically active but uh, stable cell again enter into the main cell cycle and this is the uh, process called de-differentiation. After entry into the cell cycle, now this cell perform normal multiplication. That means the cell will going to enter into the S phase. From S, it will going to enter into the G2 phase. And from G2 phase, after entry into the M phase, the cell will going to divide. Okay, that means after de-differentiation, cell show normal cell cycle. Okay, now after few division, if the same cell want to again enter into the G0 phase, in that case, the reaction occur. Okay, and cell again enter from G1 to G0, and it is the third type of a process called redifferentiation. So, at the time of studying G0 phase, you should understand these three processes. First is differentiation in which initially after multiplication of uh, for sufficient period, now the initial cell enter from G1 to G0 phase. It is called as differentiation process. Okay. Sometime from G0, cell again enter into the normal cell, cell cycle and the process called de-differentiation. Okay, and after few round of division, this cell 
have ability to again enter into the G0 phase and it is called as redifferentiation process. Okay. Now, this is all about the G0 phase. But before discussing last phase that is M phase, mitosis and meiosis, we have to focus on few other things of a cell cycle like checkpoints. Every cell cycle okay, have checkpoints. That means cell check whether all the process has carried out during the phase uh, is accurate. Okay, That means if at the end of G1 phase, here cell have a checkpoint where cell will going to check all the molecules which is collected, all the molecules, all the protein which is synthesized during the G1 phase is proper or not. Okay, If cell found that everything is okay, in that case, now cell will going to receive green signal from this checkpoint and cell enter from G1 to a space. So the cell cycle has some checkpoint which play important role uh, of checking the overall progress of the cell and cell cycle. So in my next lecture, I'm going to discuss in detail about the checkpoint which is present in the cell cycle, mainly in the interface that means G1, S and G2 phase. Thank you.